The purpose of this video is to show you how simple it is to create a flip video using one of the flip camcorders available for media services. I've already got the flip software open on my computer screen. You'll see when I plug in my camcorder that something pops up asking me what I'd like to do. I'm going to choose to view the flip camcorder video using the program provided on the device. This simply means that if this had been my first time using the device, then I would be able to install using this option. If you see where my mouse is, there are six videos on my camcorder. It also says there are six unsaved. So what I want to do is select all and press save to computer. It says videos will be saved to the December 2009 folder. On my computer, the, de the default is to have this box checked. What it says is that it's going to remove the videos from the camcorder after saving. I like to check it because it saves me from having to manually delete the videos after I've transferred them to my computer. Notice in the bottom left hand corner the progress bar. What that's doing is letting me know that my videos are being saved to my computer. And now it's finished. Also in this box it always says what the flip software is working on. Right now it says no actions in progress. It can take a few minutes depending on how large the files are that you're saving to your computer. If you've recorded 60 minutes of video, it's going to take a few minutes to save that to your computer. Whereas my clips were maybe 5 seconds. They're shorter clips, so they save very quickly. So now you can see that on my camcorder there are zero videos. In my December 2009 folder, I have the six videos that I just transferred. Notice in the bottom left hand corner of each of these videos is a play button. What I can do is watch the videos I've recorded. So actually what I'll do is I'll get rid of both of these. Um, if I just highlight it and press delete, it'll ask me if I'm sure. I'll say sure. What I've done is even though I had six videos, I knew that two of them were no good once I reviewed them all. So I deleted two just simply by selecting it and pressing the delete on my keyboard. I want to give these uh, clips titles. All right, so I'm going to name this clip one. If you click up near where it says uh, untitled, just click once and this will show up. You want to just start typing clip one. Go to the next one. I'll click on untitled and call it clip two. Call this clip three. I'm going to click on my first clip and press create movie. Then I'll drag clip 2, clip 3, and clip 4 into the window. Press next. Say I want to include a title. Maybe click at the beginning and press enter. It'll return the line so that it's more centered. You can see in the preview box over here I also want to include credits. And if I choose, I can share credit with Flip. If you choose to use Flip Video Music, um, regardless of which music option you choose, whether play music softer than the sound in the video, play music louder, or play music only, Either way, it's going to be very difficult to hear anybody speaking in the videos. The music sometimes overpowers the voices. Um, if you press the down arrow, you can see all the different options that are automatically installed with your Flip software. There's seven of them. Or I can choose to use an MP3 from my computer. Uh, so I'm choosing no music and pressing next. In the December 2009 folder, I'm going to create my movie. It already knows the name from the title. So I click Create Movie. All right, you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, it's creating my movie. And if I go to this month's folder, or to my movies folder, I can preview my video.
All right, so now I can uh, go to my December 2009 folder and see all the clips individually and also the finalized version, my full movie. So I can either press the play video button here and watch a small version or I can double click and watch a large version. Uh, by the way, it would also be uh, this movie would also be in my movies folder, uh, but I just prefer to watch it here because it's already open. First, you'll want to enter the B wing of Lafayette Hall. By the park, as you make your way down the hallway, you'll come to the library's double doors. You want to walk alongside the circulation desk between the computer terminals. to the double doors mark media services. Once you're there, give the door a couple knocks and somebody will be with you shortly. Alright, so there's our finished uh, movie on um, how to get to media services done with the flip video. Um, then if I choose to um, put this video on a flash drive so that I can bring it to class, um, I can bring it home, watch it on my own computer, if I right click the video and say export to Yes, I want to export it, and I'm going to put it on my flash drive, which is here under my computer. Say OK. And in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll notice the progress bar telling us it's saving. Now it says it's saved, and if I go to my flash drive, there it is as a Windows Media uh, movie clip.